I bought a toy gun because I want to do something fun today. I'm gonna create a muzzle flash effect inside Premiere. But not just a normal drag and drop gunshot. No, we're gonna create a muzzle flash from scratch using the almighty fractal noise. First, make yourself a video of you acting like you're shooting. For those who want to critique my recoil in the comments, go ahead because I don't know shit about guns. Alright, when you're done, make sure the clip is in your timeline. To create the gunshot, go to the project panel and click the new item button, then choose color matte. Click on OK and in the color panel set it to black. Click OK again. You can call it muzzle flash or something. Whatever you like. Drag the color matte on top of your video. You can trim it down a little, it doesn't have to be super long. Now in the effects library, find the fractal noise effect, then drag it on the color matte. Oh and make sure the color matte is at the exact frame where the muzzle flash is going to be. With your color matte selected, head over to the effect controls. Then in here, you'll find a bunch of options. First we're gonna increase the contrast. That will make the edges look sharper. Then decrease the brightness to make the noise shapes smaller. Play around with the contrast and brightness until the shapes kinda look like fire. Then when you're done, increase the complexity to add a little more sharpness to the shapes. Next, scale up the noise effect and play around with the tilt pen and roll properties. Do that until you find a shape that kinda looks like a muzzle flash. Once you have it, go to the fractal noise effect and click the pen tool. This way we can create a mask around the noise shape like this. Before we do anything else, go to the opacity effect and click the blending modes. Then choose screen or add. Now play with the feather of the mask to add a soft edge to the muzzle flash. You can always readjust the mask so that you can shape it the way you like. Now in effect controls, select motion and adjust the scale, position and rotation of the muzzle flash with your gun. By the way, if you make it through the entire video, please send me a video of your muzzle flash on Instagram. Now it's time to make it disappear. To do that, go to the effect controls and move the play it to the first frame of the clip. Then set an opacity keyframe and set it to zero. Then move two frames further and set the opacity to a hundred. Two frames sounds long for a muzzle flash, but you'll understand why in a second. Move another frame forward and set the opacity back to zero. Now go back to the mask on the VR fractal noise effect. Move the play to the second opacity keyframe we just created. Then set a mask expansion keyframe. Decrease it to about minus 120 or until you almost can't see it anymore. Then move one frame back and click the reset button. Now what you'll get is a one frame muzzle flash and if we move another frame forward it kinda looks more like smoke. Now we're gonna use three effects to enhance this even more but first I want to tell you more about the video creator bundle. It's basically a huge pack with all the tools you need to start your career as a video editor. This pack is worth more than a thousand dollars and you can get it for just 98 bucks. That's a 96% discount. I know this sounds sketchy but it's actually possible because we're working together with a lot of people so we can slap this insane discount on it. Thanks to 5 day deal, 10% of every sale actually goes to charity. Now in this pack you will find industry level muzzle flashes, gun smokes, meteors, all from Action VFX. These are used in lots of famous movies and shows. You'll also get packs like the Magical Symbols VFX pack from Tryon Digital. This is absolutely mind blowing. Keep in mind this is just a fraction of the video creator bundle. There are also lots of audio packs, stock video and so much more. Besides that you will get access to courses from full time filmmakers no film school and even my editing course and YouTube success secrets course is included in this bundle. There's only one catch. The deal is ending on June 13th and after that the deal but also the bundle will be gone. So to kickstart your editing journey click the link down below. And now back to the muzzle flash. To make it look so much better we're gonna start with adding directional blur to our color mat. Once it's applied go to the effect controls. Then in here increase the blur length slightly. Now set the direction to where the bullet is going. This is just a subtle adjustment. Next find the tint effect and drag it on your gunshot. Then in the effect controls set the map white to to orange. Then play around with the amount to blend the effect. Awesome. Next find the VR glow effect and drag it on your color mat. Once it's applied go to the effect controls and decrease the luma threshold to around 0.40 or whatever works for you. Then increase the glow radius and if needed play with the brightness and saturation. This will make the core of the muzzle flash glow more. Awesome! Now that the muzzle flash is done, we're gonna work on how the gunshot changes the environment. The gunshot is a light source so everything around it will light up. Now to create that effect make sure your video is selected, not the color mat. Go to the window menu on top and find Lumetri color
color. Once it's open, play around with the exposure, increase it to around 4. Then head back to the effect controls and move the playhead to the moment where the muzzle flash is visible. Then set an exposure keyframe. Grab the playhead and move one frame back. Then click the reset button. Now move two frames further and click the reset button again. Now the light source doesn't simply light up the entire room. We're gonna select certain elements in our video by creating a mask on the Lumetri effect. Then draw a mask around the muzzle flash and when you're done, go back to the mask settings and play with the feather and expansion. Now simply create another mask and draw it around your face and other parts of the video that will light up. Again, play around with the feather and expansion if needed. There you go. Now that effect looks really cool, but next you're gonna learn even more effects right here in the video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out the Video Creators Bundle.